This is a video that went viral not too long ago on TikTok. In this video, you see a lady from Seattle who appears to be a zombie. Her face is pale. Her walk is just crazy. She's screaming random screams and the police could barely subdue her. Now, nobody ever found out what happened to her. I even remember seeing, you know, Reddit pages and people asking, like, what happened to the zombie lady? Nobody ever got an answer. Now, can humans truly be zombies? In the 1990s, Dr. Chavans Duyan and Professor Roland Littlewood decided to investigate whether Haitian zombies were uh, re reanimated, you know, but mindless zombies were a real possibility. A lot of times in Haitian culture, you hear about uh, voodoo being used to bring folk back to life, sometimes even to enslave people. Now people with Cotard's syndrome, or Cotard syndrome, I don't know, are convinced that they are dead. And in 1997, the two published a study paper in the, uh, in the Lancet in which they analyzed the cases of three individuals from Haiti whose uh, communities had identified them as zombies. One of them was a 30-year-old woman who had allegedly quickly died after having fallen ill and her family recognized her walking around as a zombie about three years after her death. Another was a young man who died at 18 and reemerged after another 18 years at a um, roost. <gasps> excuse me, at a cockfight, which is a rooster fight. The final case study was a young woman who had died at 18, but was spotted again as a zombie 13 years after the event. Now, just off the off the rip, this all sounds crazy because. Seeing somebody 18 years later, yeah, they'll look, you know, the same for the most part. But if they not only older, but at the same time think they a zombie, and I'm assuming they had to be some type of wrinkles or some kind of just, you know, not them. They, they weren't taking care of themselves. So I think it'll be a little hard to identify somebody, you know, who's been in the streets and you not seeing them till 18 years later. Now, Dr. Duyon and Professor Littlewood examined the three zombies and found they had not been the victims of an ev uh, evil spell, but instead, medical reasons could explain what happened to them. Now, the first zombie had catatonic schizophrenia, a rare condition that makes the person act as though they are walking in a stupor. Like, you know, just like they're in another world. And the second person had experienced brain damage and also had epilepsy, while the third appeared merely to have a learning disability. Now, people with chronic schizo uh, schizophrenic illness, brain damage, or learning disabilities is not uncommonly met with wandering in Haiti, and they would be uh, particularly likely to be identified as lacking volition, I don't know what the heck volition means, maybe y'all know, and memory which are characteristics of a zombie. And the researchers wrote in that, this in a paper, but there's also a specific psychiatric disorder called Cotard syndrome that can cause people to act like zombies, and this is because they are under the delusion that they is dead and decomposing. It remains unclear just how 
you know, prevalent that this condition is, but research suggests that it's real, real. Now, documents, documented cases of people with Cotard syndrome is unsettling anyway. Now, one case study report the situation of a 53 year old woman who was complaining that she was dead and smelled like rotten flesh and wanted to be taken to a morgue so that she could be with dead people. If I ever met somebody that said something like that, and like, I couldn't deal with it. Like, I don't judge people, you know, hey, you do what you want to do. That's on you and God, y'all figure that out. But man, I don't know, that lady right there, somebody else gonna have to help her there. I can't do them. Now, another source speaks of a 65-year-old man who had developed a belief that his organs, including his brain, had stopped working and that even the house he lived in was starting to fall apart. Now, at some point, the man attempted to take his own life and researchers support that his suicide note revealed that he wanted to kill himself because he was scared of spreading a deadly infection to the villagers who uh, lived around him and they might suffer from cancer. So I guess it depends on what your definition of zombie is. You know, technically, I guess a zombie would have to be somebody who died, completely, utterly died, no vital signs, no breath in their body and all that, and came back to life. So it seemed like that's not possible. But it is possible for somebody's mind to be gone and their body still functioning. Now, is they, is it permanent? Is it temporary? Can it, what, does it mean they're gonna try to eat your brains?